people, I know a lot of you have been shopping and maybe some of you have gotten gift cards and all that other stuff. And I really want to talk about why I don't shop at Simon Malls. All right? And I urge you not to shop at Simon Malls as well. All right? Now, I've told you why I don't like Simon. All right? It's obvious. Uh, there are, Simon is, runs their malls in a very strict manner. Meaning, meaning that they push their own ideology into the business of the mall. All right? And I want to first start with, uh, with uh, something that happened to a friend of mine uh, uh, who uh, is an elevator enthusiast, uh, just like I am. All right? And they were at Riverside Square, which is in Bergen County, all right? which is in Hackensack. All right? And I'm going to provide a link to their story as well. All right? They were uh, taking video of the scenic elevator going up. The, it's a Dover scenic elevator going up in the main you know, part of the mall. One of the mall's security guards, and this is another company that's absolutely terrible, Allied Barton, all right, which they do all the security for all the Simon Malls. All right, they asked him not to take pictures. And he put his camera away, he complied. No, you know, he, didn't, he didn't argue with the security guard. He then took the escalator up to the main floor where a Segway was waiting for him to tell him again that he couldn't film. All right, so we already complied, and the security guard again told him you can't film. All right. And he made him aware he was told that already. But the security guard followed the person around the mall, the spying on the person, even though they didn't have uh, a, uh, you know, they put the camera away. They weren't taking any more pictures. They weren't filming any more elevators. All right. They went to the mall manager, complained, and and the mall manager said, yeah, I have to have a written request. Like I said, Simon's really uh, specific about this. And the written request was denied, saying that they saying they were concerned the videos of the elevators on YouTube, get ready for this, could be used by terrorists to harm the shopping center. That's right, terrorists. Simon is concerned that somebody filming the elevators uh, could, uh, you know, it could be used by terrorists. They're worried about terrorists getting video. Uh, I guess they're not aware of all the um, hidden cameras people can wear. I mean, even hidden cameras and glasses, too. All right. So you think the terrorists can go around walking around with a regular camera? No, no, no. They're going to go around with hidden cameras. So they're going to get their pictures anyway. All right. All you're doing is stopping the law-abiding citizens from getting pictures. All right. All right. And so I'm going to go back. And then they went, they went back to the shopping center not taking any pictures. All right, so they didn't even take any pictures, all right, and, and they were just talking to their friend on the cell phone, and, and they, looked at the, they looked at the elevator in the elevator machine room, all right, they didn't go in the elevator, they just looked to see where the elevator machine room was, where the door was, and then two security guards came down the escalator and, and said to, them, to the person, remember us? And and the, and the, and and and, the, and my friend said, yes, I know I'm not allowed to take any pictures of video in the mall. I spoke to the ma mall manager. I don't even have a camera on me. And then they replied, well, your cell phone has a camera. And I then said, do I need to call the mall manager? And they replied, we'll bring you to her. All right. And uh, then and then they went to the mall manager. And they followed this this person around. Uh, all right. And. Then they met with uh, they, they 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 met again with the mall manager. All right, this is what this is what Simon does. All right, the director of security, who is really just an Allied Barton representative, listened to the whole conversation, and they claimed that he was taking pictures with his cell phone, even though he wasn't. All right, and then they said, and then, and then when they had a conversation, the security guards like, are you recording me? Uh, you know, what I mean, he said no. You know, I probably would have I mean, for, for my own legal protection, all right? Um, and he was very nice about it, very, you know, I mean, uh, my friend dealt with it very well, much better than I could have dealt with it, all right? The rep then tried to accuse the person of not being a patient, even though they come with their family and they shop there all the time, all right? And, uh, and so even after the conversation, the security followed him. And, and 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 they just follow him around the mall, all right? You know, and, that, and this is what they do. This is what they do. And to top it off, he was told that the security guards 
met up with the Bergen County prosecutor and brought up the elevator filming. Do you believe it? So that's how ridiculous it is. You can read his whole story. I'll have the link in the video. All right. Um, and the Bergen County prosecutor considers it a threat. So we're going to have to put a link to the Bergen Pro County prosecutor as well and tell Mr. Bergen County prosecutor, I don't know what his name is, but I'll find out and we'll put it in the video, uh, that this is America, all right? And filming, ele if you're concerned, there are so many more things going on right now than somebody filming elevators, like all these budget shortfalls going on, like this recession we're in, all right? So I would highly suggest that the prosecutor be a little more concerned with those things. I know his job's a prosecutor, so if you want to take a look at illegal activity, why don't you take a look and see all the illegal aliens working around? Why don't you do something about that? All right? But the bottom line is terrorists are going to get their video. They're going to get their photos. There's nothing you can do about it. There really isn't because you can have, they're going to get their video and their photos through hidden cameras, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right? Nothing you can do about it. All right? You're going to have to accept that. All right? This is what it's like when you live in a free country. All right? If you don't like it, then go and serve as a prosecutor in China, in communist China, if that's what you want. All right? The other story I want to tell you about is um, this 80-year-old church thief. This happened at Smith Haven Mall. This happened a while ago, actually. There was an anti-war protest at the, at the Smith Haven Mall. So he was sitting down in the food court. He wasn't protesting in the food court. All right? He was sitting down in the food court, 80-year-old man was removed from the Smith Haven Mall because he was wearing a shirt that was protesting the Iraq War. All right? So, it talked about this man, his name is Don Zirkel, of Beth Page. Uh, the mall was claiming he was disturbing shoppers at the Lake Grove Mall with his t-shirt, which they had described as graphic anti-war images. All right? Our late, uh, uh, and this man's a deacon, all right? All right? And, and, and basically what it is, and, and they show a picture of the shirt, and uh, you know, provide a link to the, I mean, there are so much worse shirts I see in the mall, all right? And so they pick on this guy, all right? And basically they, you know, they based him, basically they said in the release that Zirkel was handing out anti-war pamphlets to mall goers, and that mall security told him to stop and, turn, stop and turn his shirt inside out. All right, Zirkel refused to turn his shirt inside out and wouldn't leave. And basically they, they charged him with trespassing you know, all that other stuff. But Zirkel said he was sitting down in the food court drinking coffee with his wife, Marie 77, and several others when the police and mall security officers approached and demanded they remove their anti-war t-shirts, all right? So basically Simon is pro-war, so they, if they don't want anyone in the mall that's against the war, all right? If they're expressing that, then they're gonna be kicked out. That's what Simon thinks. So Simon is a horrible company. They're a horrible anti-American company. And they like to say that they're patriots, but they're actually the enemy because they're the, they're the ones that are trying to take away our freedom. All right? So you can read that. I'll provide the link to that, too, as well. Please read those two things. And then I got some other stuff, too. There was an incident at a Simon Mall where a business had shirts up against, uh, sell, selling shirts against the Iraq War, and they were, their lease was actually terminated because of it. This is the way Simon thinks. All right? So this is the way Simon thinks. This is a real problem. That's why I'm urging you not to shop at Simon Malls, all right? They, I know we have a lot of them on Long Island, but there are, like in New Jersey, plenty of other malls to go to, especially in New Jersey, all right? Simon sucks, all right? And I would urge people to write Simon to, we'll write the links in the mall as well, all right? Because people shouldn't be shopping at this, at this, at this, at this, at this mall chain, all right? It's not, and I don't care for the way they manage their malls. Their maintenance is garbage. Their, their customer service is garbage. They were investigated by the Attorney General because their gift cards actually after a few months start losing a value, all right? Uh, so Simon is a very corrupt company, a very bad company, very, a company that's not a good American business, all right? Uh, you know, and you can go to Westfield, you can go to Taubman, you can go to other mall chains like General Growth, uh, a whole bunch of others, all right? No reason to be shopping at Simon. Unfortunately, here on Long Island, Simon uh, has a monopoly on our malls. They own most of the malls here, which I think is illegal and something should be done about it. Um, but that's another issue. Bottom line is Simon violates civil rights. Simon harasses people. Simon breaks the law by, uh, by uh, using their... Um, now, in New Jersey, I am informed that Simon's actually may not be allowed to restrict photography, all right, at least in Bergen County. So Simon also breaks the law that way, all right? They harass people. They violate civil rights. 
they are a company that needs to be shut down. All right, and they are a company that we, the people, should do our best to avoid in giving uh, money to. All right, so while I may be walking around in the Simon Mall getting the elevators or whatever, there is no way I will ever spend not even a dime of my money in their malls. Never. And I urge you to do the same.